Let's see who's up. Someone gotta be up. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anybody up? Anybody up? Uh oh, uh oh. I see sign. I see sign. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Hey, from Buckeye State. Alrighty, how's everybody doing? All right. Slowly but surely. I hope everybody's doing all right. Just want to make this little, uh, I was bored, that's it. I figured, let me do this little live stream. Y'all can hear me? Can you guys hear me? Okay. 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 People starting to pop up. All right. Okay, they're asking me how I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. Um, Hanging in there. All right, y'all can hear me good. Yeah. So, I just want to make this little uh, live stream, let y'all know how I'm doing and stuff. So I've been, I've been, you know me. I don't hardly make no videos. Is that Josh? What's up, Squat? Skies? <laughs> I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody had a good Easter. I had a great Easter. I ate some food up in Paul's house. Ooh. Okay. I got Justin. I'm going to start here. Uh, Justin Henry says, How I'm doing? And Foxy Lady Foxy's doing good. She's somewhere sleeping. I'm doing okay. Everything is good. Uh, someone is asking me, am I still in my class? Say no. Um, I still got my apartment. Uh, I have the class A and my Suzuki. Um, I haven't been traveling or nothing right now. Um, uh, I have a lot of uh, side effects from chemo. So my vision. I lost my peripheral vision, and uh, just the other day I moved Miss Gypsy to over, and I banged the side of it. <sighs> so uh, the chemo got me going, um, you know, side effects. So my uh, driving ability is a little off now, and uh, I don't feel safe driving Miss Gypsy. It's just too big for me, and my vision is shot. And, uh, a lot of uh, side effects from chemo, um, especially my vision. Um, it's uh, right now I get like uh, some kind of tunnel vision, so I only see in my peripheral vision. I had perfect peripheral. I drove a tow truck, never never banged anything. Um, Right now, just got to see if this side effect is going to be for a long time or it's just temporary. I, I don't know. Depends what chemo. <laughs> and not much I could talk about on that. Just, just 
that's the consequences of uh, chemo or radiation or whatever you go through. Um, I have an appointment this month. Um, on the 25th, I get my I go get some my labs done. Um, so they doing it like every three months. So this will be my so this will be my third one. And then I believe um, they'll do it next six months, then a year, and then every three years. And I still have the port. Um, uh, I'll find out in the end of the month to see if uh, I'm going to stay with it still. My doctor recommends me to stay with it at least two years. It's already been like a year and a half. So, so I'm assuming that uh, hopefully by probably fall, I, I should be getting this port out if I don't get no other. If things don't get complicated and things come back, but I doubt it. Okay, let me read some stuff here. Ah, I have a Paul F. Shoemaker. Wow, I wonder who's that. I wonder if he does shoes. Uh, work your butt off today. <laughs> I helped Paul out a little bit. Um, move me some uh, pipes and some woods and stuff. And uh, it's been a while. I, you know, I can't hardly work. But uh, I feel so useless around Paul because he, he's like MacGyver. And, and, I, and I'm there with him. And I just sit there and I'm useless. You know, I can't do nothing. So... Today, I, I did a little work, so I'm a little hurt. I can't work, so I can't do nothing. But uh, but it was good to do some work, you know. Uh, it was, whew, but it's all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Paul, you worked my butt off today. It was probably an hour or two, but that was, that was, that was enough for me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Questions. Let's see. Anybody got some questions? Hit them up. Mm. Uh, Lance S. S. Bridge is a they person has been there before, so they know about the chemo. Messed up. My, yeah, he says that the chemo messed up his body and stuff. So yeah, I know. I know. Uh, I'm all. I'm all discombobulated, but I'm alive, so and I'm here, so that's what counts. So. Uh, sacrifices. You gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, do you need a chauffeur? No, I don't need a chauffeur. I can, I, I, in my Suzuki, I'm okay. It's just the the uh, class A. It's just too, too big for me. I, I have no. I'm, I'm, I lost my measurements. You know, pretty good with I lost. I can't do a big vehicle. The Suzuki, I'm okay. Um, Lance says, "How's uh, Foxy? Foxy doing good? Uh, she's still fighting that collapse track here, and I've been giving us um, this medication called Corsequin. Some subscribers uh, told me about it. I forgot the name. I forgot the person's name right now. I got it written down." So. But um, so far, it's been three weeks I've been given another medicine. Uh, I haven't really seen no changes, so I figured I'd give it a month or more. So, uh, yeah, I'm a warrior. Whew. Vikings got nothing on me. Oh, well, my dad passed away. And the same kind of cancer as you had. Oh, I'm sorry, lads. Sorry to hear that. Whew. A lot of people, man. Uh, and that judge, um, the old man, he has pancreatic cancer too. Um, I forgot his name. He's a real good, real good judge. Uh, Prairie Night Moon says, Hi, Phoenix. Hey. You have to enjoy. Oh, wow. Uh, on the way. Where you're going, let's just learn about the destination, about the journey. Yeah, and what a journey I had. Woo! Lance PR of stubborn. Puerto Ricans are stubborn, yeah? Yeah. Go look where I'm at. Yeah. Kick that pancreatic pec pec uh, cancer in the ass. 
Uh, Prairie Night Moon, I just got here. How are you? I'm doing okay. People that just came in, I'm doing okay. Everything is good. Uh, just enjoying, um, enjoying life right now. Playing with trains, taking care of my little nephew. Um, just uh, being like a, being a daddy. Oh, it's like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grand uncle, daddy. Something from <laughs> Um He's doing okay. He's, yeah. Um, he's in, you know, doing doing pretty good in school. You know, he has autism, and it's been a little a little struggle in the beginning, but now everything is even out, and me and him are in the same level. And I know how to deal with him because my sister has autism, so I, I know how to deal with him. Okay, I don't remember the judge's name either. Yeah, uh, let me see if I can look real quick. Yeah, it, it, man, it, it's that that judge is so nice, and cancer cancer doesn't care, doesn't care. Whew. Yeah. Jack, cancer doesn't discriminate. Yeah. Ah, I got him now. Uh, Frank Capio. That's his, That's the judge. Judge Frank Capio. He's down in cancer. Man. I heard that that that, that kicked my butt. Because I've been to this, I know what he's going to. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, Justin, I heard there was a whole bunch of tornadoes going on. Especially yesterday. I think um, Nomadic Fanatic went through some scary situation a couple days ago, I think. Okay, sooner JH Travel says he was back from a 39 day trip out west. How was it? Prairie Night Moon says the can support you and you won. Yep, that's for that. I gotta watch those. I had to do one of those Rocky moves on. I had a tiger, baby. And my higher power. It has a lot to do with it. Yep. Where were you, bro? I was on the deathbed. I had. That's a lance. The warriors. Cancer warriors. Yep, yep. Man. Let's see what else. Uh, Lance says, uh, much respect. Thank you. That I got you doing your heart. Yeah, that I have my back. <sighs> what I did to deserve this. I'm here. But I think I was here for a purpose for my nephew. I think it was from the next one. Okay. Any other questions? Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> Trisha. Hi, Trisha. Uh, Fleming me. I know God's best. Is still ahead. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. And he says I'm a great person. Thank you, honey. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Oh man.
So, man. So, everybody had a good Easter? I hope everybody munched out, got fat like me, and probably gained one pound, and the next day I cooped it out. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, uh, let's see what else questions. So, Scott, hello, Scott, from Minnesota. Is it Minnesota? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Oh, you had pizza for Easter, huh? Hmm. Pizza. Pepperoni, extra cheese. All right. Man. Well, I need some questions. You know, I suck on this stuff. I just, you know, do this last one. See, I can see I'm still here. I'm alive. Feels good. My hair is back. Oh, man. That's all I got left. Yep. Bill V. Hi there. You're looking good, Felix. You always make me smile. I like your style. You are inspiring. C tap. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jersey. I Jersey. Hey, Felix. I love the purple house. On the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care, right? I'm going to show Yeah. You know what I mean? I've got to make fun of CDK. <laughs> Keep him on his toes. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <sighs> Let's see if I can get on the camera. Even with his uh <laughs> even with the chair laying. <laughs> yeah, it's my buddy. <coughs> uh, uh, B Free says, is CBK with me? No. Uh, CBK is in his house. He's up in Sholo. He's doing, doing his business, doing some stuff up there. And uh, little Dexter. Yeah, I like Dexter. He's uh it's going to take a while before I can even pick him up and play with him. He's, he's right now, he's, you know, he's in a different world right now. But uh, hopefully I get to enjoy him. <coughs> Scott Hurley, will you be doing any camping with CDK this summer? I don't think I'm going to be doing any camping anytime soon. Um, like I said, um, uh, I can't drive this gypsy. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, until uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing any. I I've kind of lost interest in doing any camping or traveling. All this stuff is doing. I went through a lot of stuff, and uh, it's just I. My mental state, I, 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 I am totally different. After that operation, you know, I went through four surgeries, um, you know, four times anesthesia in less than, you know, from September, you know, in less than six months, I, I went through all that anesthesia and the nine months of chemo. And, it, 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 it has, uh, I am not the same person I was after when I got diagnosed, and I'm not the same person. Uh, I, I feel weird. I'm just not, I'm not right. The chemo really messed me up. It, it, it really messed me up. Great, great. 
Craig. Oh, yeah. Oh, my buddy Craig. Yo, yo, yo. Doing good. Okay, Justin Henry says, how I'm doing on my bills? <sighs> I'm not even going to speak on that. Um, uh, I'm on disability. I, I, uh, I'm, on, uh, I'm a normal person. I'm a normal senior citizen now waiting, waiting for his check monthly. After you pay everything, whatever's left is yours. Uh, it's 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 something I gotta live with now. You know, I can't work. I, I, I can't work. I can't be. You know. But uh, I'm not complaining. So you know, I cheap rent. You know, I only pay six hundred. As long as my rent is paid, my electric and my phone, the rest, you know, you know, the what's really got me um, uh, tight is the food. You know, now I got my nephew with me. Um, I'm I'm receiving food stamps uh, for him, you know, and, and, and that helps me out. Um, helps me out tremendously. But things are tight. Things, you know, I gotta watch. I, it's um, now I'm just like I said, I'm just a regular person, a regular senior citizen waiting for his check, and that's the way it is. And that's the way that it is. It's the little hell back. Okay. Life changes, Felix. Yep. So do we. Yep. Positive thoughts. I always got positive thoughts. Sometimes my boat uh, uh, sometimes the boat gets a little water and I get my little cup and scoop that. I just keep going. So you could do. Um, Texas lady says it's good to see you. Stay strong. Stay strong. Uh, it, Lance says you have a heart of gold, my friend. I've been following you for a minute. Thank you. Uh, got nothing but love for you. Me too. Um, Josh says, you saw Miss Gypsy, and I get a 15, 20 foot travel trailer. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I, uh, uh, yeah, no, we'll see. Um, McNasty, R. McNasty. I wonder, hmm, that, that, that name, McNasty. Good to see you, buddy. Is that your last name, McNasty, or is it just a name? That, that's a funny name. McNasty. Happy Easter to you, too, buddy. Rick, Rick, Rick Slinner. Hey, buddy. Everything is good. Mm. <sighs> okay, Bill V, God's friends, help the days go by. Yeah, it sure does. <clears throat> so, any more questions? I need some questions. Because you know me, I suck on this stuff. Gianna St. James, I was unwell with my pancreas. Now I am doing okay. That's good. Uh, much prayers for you. Much prayer for you. Do you have a tiny house? Does, no, I don't. Well, it's a tiny apartment. It has two rooms, but no, I don't have a tiny house. The only tiny house is that little. CBK thing I have there. No, I don't have a tiny house. Or do I want a tiny house or property? Can't do it. Um, do you paint buildings, props on the train, on the train 
villages. Do you paint the buildings? Oh, I weather them. Um, weather them. Um, um, I make them look old, and I throw. I try to weather them, make them look more authentic instead of looking so plasticky. Um, if that's what you're asking. <clears throat> uh, Sylvia Brown, I nice see you, Felix, so I'm good. And Foxy, good to see her. I put you both. Thank you. Uh, C tap, I helped my dad, 98 year old. Now, World War II vet. Thank you for, thank you for the service. Oh, so I, his chemo, radiation, and all this stuff that comes with it. He's doing well. He lives by himself and also very inspiring. World War II vet. He, he, he went through hell and back. He's a survivor. God bless him. 98 years old. Woo! R and L Carver, how are the birds? Well, the birds, I only got one left. Um, the summertime, the heat that we had, um, a heat wave and stuff was too much. And uh, I had a couple of boo boo accidents. I left the door, the cage open by mistake, the chemo stuff. And uh, I lost some birds and stuff. I'm not getting no more birds and any chickens and stuff. It's, 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 just too hot here to have that stuff and and you gotta be on them uh, the water evaporates you know you pour water you give them water you come inside you do anything, you come out 20 minutes later the water evaporates and again if you go doctor's appointment or shopping or something that's all you have in your mind just birds have water you know and then when you come back everything's dried up and it, it's 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 hard and then you can't keep them inside because sometimes it's hotter inside here than it is outside. And it's still the same water to evaporate. Okay. McNasty. You do a fantastic job. Okay. In? Oh, okay. What you ask? Will you sell your RV? You know, it's been in my thoughts. Uh, um, I, I probably, de probably depending on, on. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But it's been in my thoughts of selling and trying to get something smaller, maybe. Um. I'm, I'm so decisive right now. I think of this, and like I said, uh, my brain is not. Uh, I'm not right. <laughs> I'm not right. So right now, any decisions I make, I really gotta really think about it. I think about it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times before I even decide. Uh, so much things in my head right now. Um. Um. Uh, I'm out of timing. My 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 way of thinking, my my thoughts, and um, I'm just not. I'm not. I'm not uh, I don't know. Just give it time. See, my get back into into rhythm or something. Um, that's part of the chemo radiation stuff. The chemo. That's what we go through. Justin says, how good is Miss Gypsy on gas? I get like about 10 miles to the gallon. And and, and unless I got a, a, a winning, you know, in the front, but she's pretty good. I think a, a tank full gives me 750 miles. So when I travel that day, I, I always try to maintain it full. And when it goes down a quarter, I bring it back up. And I and 
I noticed that you save more money that way in gas than running a half a tank. Because once once that needle hits that half a tank, it'll stay there for a few, and then it starts just going down. So I, I try to keep it always full, and, I, and it kind of works out works out for me. Uh, I still got my tortoise. Um, it's on, it's in the it's bigger now. I, I, I when I make a video, I'll I'll show them. I still got the tortoise. That's 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 my that's my um that's gonna be my forever tortoise. Cause you know those things last forever, and and, and hopefully the day I leave this earth, probably hopefully my nephew. One of my nephews or my nieces will take it. So I know I have to make uh, some kind of uh, will, something to make sure if someone takes care of that turtle because, uh, you know, this turtle that's going to last 100, 100 years, 80 years. I mean, what I got left, 5, 10, 15 years, 3 years, I don't know. And, uh, you know, the turtle is going to outlive me. And uh, I'll live me, and probably I'll live my nephews. So, so when that time comes, we'll see what happens. Um. Uh. That's awesome. Building the good sun is so fun. Yeah, yeah. I had a lot of fun building my uh, train thing. Um, that's what kept me. Uh, focused or you know try to keep my brain occupied because like I said the chemo chemo stuff you know and I, and I was getting some aggressive um, chemo and uh, that was uh, uh, Craig says oh I lost it this thing goes so fast Sorry, guys. Craig says, uh, can't sell Miss Gins Miss Gypsy. Bring her here. Drive off my sh with my Chinook. The Chinook. Don't say that, buddy. I'll drive over there and get that Chinook. Oh, my goodness. My buddy Craig, um, where CBK had the purple house up in New Mexico, he has a, a, a Chinook. Uh, don't tease me, Craig. Holy guacamole. Big talk in the house. Yo! <laughs> Justin Melhav. How is CBK? I think CBK is doing good as the last video. I haven't spoken to him. He's, uh, we, um, I know he's been busy and stuff, but we haven't, we haven't spoken. I think it's been like two weeks I haven't spoken, but I've seen his video. He's doing okay. Um... He's doing okay because if he was, he would have probably called me and you know we would have talked to something. He's doing okay. Uh, R R and L cable birds are a lot of work. You know they are, but yeah, they are. They are a lot. Of work. To keep, you know, make sure, especially in this type of environment, where man, it's pretty hard to keep birds outside. But like I said, the the, the the sun evaporates that water. It's like when I wash clothes, I, I wash clothes, I hang them up in the, in the thing, and uh, by the time I come and get the other clothes that I'm going to put to wash, the clothes that are already hanged up, they're already dry. So they're dry in like in 15 minutes, probably, you know, when the sun's out. Okay, let's see what else. <laughs> How's my mama? And my mama's doing good. Um... Well, she's doing good. Um, Health-wise, you know, she's declining. You know, my mother's 70, she's going to be 76. Um, her health is declining. You know, she's got bad knees and other stuff that comes with old age. And, uh, but she's a fighter. She's like me. She's a fighter, man. She, 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 the, the, the knees and stuff don't stop her from going to the casino. So she's doing great. Me going up there. When I'm gonna go visit, my mother asked me that well a couple of days ago. And I told my mom, unless this is an emergency, 
I won't be able to be going up there anytime soon, especially uh, plane tickets are, 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 are sky high. And if I travel, I got to travel with a little nothing. So, you know, I can't afford it. You know, things ain't, you know, I'm okay, but, you know, things I can't do anymore. But it's okay. I'm happy with what I got. Okay. James. Gianna James. St. James. That was 192 kilograms. I don't know what that is. And now, seven years later, I am 133 with high blood pressure. Well, when I got sick, when I was diagnosed, I was 355. Now I'm 237. I went from a size 44 pants to a size 34, and I think I had to go down to a 32 because the 34s are getting a little big on me. And now that I don't have a butt anymore and my pants don't stay up, so I'm going to have to start wearing suspenders the belt doesn't help me at all because I have no grip in the back anymore. <laughs> I lost it. So all I got left is my hair. What can I do? Uh, I have to go see tap. You have to go, but good to see you. Stay well. I know you stay cool. You're on one of my good people on the YouTube. All right, see tap. Have a good night. Como? Tienen un, un live. Son que para que te vean. Pues están preguntando por ti. No, no, no. So. Ah, 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 en la cámara. Ven, ven. Gotta get my nephew. He don't speak English. Pégate más. That's my nephew. We don't look alike, do we? No, we don't. He has that messed up hair, boy. His hair is you need a you need a chainsaw and a, ain't nothing on the line my hair. He's asking for chocolate. I always give him a little treat for a little uh treat before he goes to school. To bed. He goes to bed soon. At 10, at 10 o'clock, he goes to bed. He goes to school tomorrow. Um, it's funny. Uh, daddy -o. I'm a daddy -o uncle. Uncle daddy -o. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Bill B says, not good for them to be parked. I move it. I turn it on. I move it. Up and down, you know, back and forth, about it. Uh, NFT Schiller, big dog, yo. Linda Tripp, thumbs up, yo. Okay, CTAB, if you're not 100% sure, don't do it. Good things take time. Take care of you. 100% sure. What, seven? Yeah. All right, you have a good night, buddy. Uh, okay, Francisco Guerrero. How are you doing, big dog? Question for you. Are you running DC trains? I run DC trains and DCC trains. I don't have the controller for the DCC trains, but I run the DCC trains. Um, yeah. I don't have the, uh, uh, I have DC controls, but I don't have a DCC controller, but I have DCC locals also. I have uh, nine locomotives. I have two, uh, two DCs, two, two DCCs, and the rest are DCs. And if people, some people don't know the difference between DC and DCC, DC is what they call direct control and DCC is what you call digital command control, I think it is. Um, two different systems. Um, on the DCC, you can run two, three, four, five, six trains on uh, one controller, controls all the trains separately. On DC, you only can run one train and 
That's it. And that's fun on me. It's fun. It's fun. I got that out my bucket list. How we gonna do stuff like that? I'm working on my um end scale, but man, it's you know. I'll show you. These are the end scale. So, man, it, it, it takes a lot out your back. Then, you know, these are so fragile, so small. You know, it's not the same like the. Uh, sorry. This is the uh, HO scale compared to the N scale. So it's way too way different. <clears throat> okay. Uh holy guacamole, please get Fasilady checked for congestive heart failure. My dog had the same cough problem. And he had congestive heart failure, which medication so forth. The last time I took Foxy um, to the vet, um, the doctor says she's a picture of health. Um, but uh, to stick the, the track here, that's what these uh, Pomeranians, the small breed dogs, especially Pomeranians, they suffer from that a lot. What I've heard in, in research. Um, all I could do is just try to make her uh, comfortable and try to give her um, try to give her stuff that don't irritate her uh, throat and uh, soft food and stuff. And when she gets some, um, uh, how you call it, uh, she get anxious or or real excited is when she calls more. But when she's like right now, she's sitting there. You probably could hear her. Yeah, that's what she does. Yeah. It kills me. It, it kills me. But sometimes, you know, just let nature take its course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Idrisic, does the train set help you uh, meditate and focus your thoughts? It seems like it does. It sure does. I'll, I'll turn the trains on, and uh, when I was doing my medication, the, the uh, medical marijuana and stuff, I'll sit in the couch on the sofa and let the trains run, and I'll be there hours just watching, just watching them go up and down the track. It's more therapeutic for me than the game. Um, yeah, more therapeutic. And it, and, it, and it relaxes. It, it, it's, it's nice. Uh, okay, let's see what else. You gave my son one so years ago, and I'm gonna get that. Okay, what's that? The turtle, uh, Scott Hurley. You gave my son one so years ago. Must be a turtle. Yes. Justin Henry, what was the notification? notification? Send the sunflower. Hey, Mr. Next 50. Yo. Ah, R. McNasty, long time. I thought you set up my PC so you made it evil. <laughs> That's a joke. And I tried to change it too. Rick. One and a half way work. <laughs> okay, I'm nasty. That's cool. <laughs> uh Justin here, I've been out of school since two thousand. I've been out of school since nineteen eighty five. Um Mr. Jinx, hey buddy, how you doing, buddy? I 
I haven't seen the one with the little trees yet. I seen I seen that other video you made. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I'm sorry. I want to see it pretty soon. I've been a little busy and a little I need to, trying to catch up with some things. Good. I'm glad you're up here, buddy, Mr. Jinx. Okay. Mr. Jinx, oh man, N scale making those signals is hard. I could imagine they're so small, but I got HO scale. But uh, yeah, those 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 uh, N scale signals they're so tiny. Everything is so tiny in N scale. Um, Jane Gray, hey. Um, RL card, do you have a humidifier? It helps. With my daughter's Chihuahua. Um, no, I don't have a humidifier, but the uh, mini split in my RV does. And um, my mini split in my RV does have a humidifier. I'll try that out. But it's been cool these days here. It's been in the 70s and nights been in the 50s, so she's comfortable when it's like that. But when it gets too, too, too hot, it's where she has problems. Breathing and stuff, and it activates her tracking, and she coughs a lot. So I, I'll try. Holy guacamole, really guacamole. Oh man, thank you, thank you. Oh man, guacamole, thank you. Wow, thank you, sir. Oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, Trisha. Okay, Sandra, is that Sandra Sunflower? Love you, Bubba. Looking good. Love you too. And Mr. Jinx says, "Yay, hey, yeah, well, yeah." Oh man, um, Trisha, I think the birds and tortoises was the beginning of you having the opportunity to meditate and focus. Trying to find yourself after surgery and chemo. That's right, and with the birds, yes. Yeah. Something to keep my mind occupied. Definitely. Definitely was one of the part of the reasons too. Yeah. That was that was the main that was what I went to if you don't if you keep the mind occupied, it will consume you. Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you mean if you're going, if you, if whoever going through what I went through or similar, the secret is to keep your mind occupied. Don't think of your disease. Don't think of the signals. Don't think of the chemo. Don't think of nothing. Just think about getting well. Think about focus. That's you know. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Guacamole, thank you, man. Okay, Trisha, the train is just another phase. Yeah. So I, yeah. I got home because then I'll, I won't have room here. I'll start doing other stuff. <laughs> um, I'm going to get over with you and CVK. This is Prairie Night Moon. I remember the video with you and CBK where it was raining to the sun. Oh, that was in the that was in the in one of his Suzuki in the geo track in one of the geo track of the white one I think it was. And yeah, yeah, we were trying to we were trying to get trying to put the serious face, but when Tucker pop remember when Tucker pop popped out on the side and and me. And, CBK were holding the, the, the plastic and uh, we were trying to get trying to put Sugar's face but we couldn't and then when Tucker pulled it lift up there that killed me there. <laughs> Mr. Jim, okay, I'm so proud of oh, Mr. Jim says I'm so proud of you from the first day going to the doctor until now. That crazy. I can see. 
the fear in your face that first day <laughs> your awesome love yeah mm. Mm. yeah holy guacamole you got it on my friends crazy how things happen I found Tampa Bay and Kevin from my fanatic and I found through Tampa Bay and Kevin. You see, I'm gonna say it's alright. Even though I don't do much videos, but I'm still a favorite. Yeah, right. What the fluff? Hmm. Some names. Oh man, just got here. I wanted to let you know that I still pray daily for you. CBK, Eric, and the fair ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Whew, so many prayers. <laughs> I'm thinking about the uh, what prairie night move uh, with the when we were holding the thing, getting wet inside the, the, the Suzuki. Wow, that was a while back. That was, whew, what was that, like seven years ago? Yeah, about seven years ago. <clears throat> um yeah so yeah so maybe maybe this summer of um my nephew's mother his mother she lives in Reno um she might take them for the summer, and if she does, then I'll, I'll I might shoot up to, to Kevin's way. Um, not in Miss Gypsy, but um, I don't know yet. Maybe depends how I feel from here to there. Um, I might go up there, or I might just take um, since I got to go to Reno, I just might take a trip up to the Redwoods and see that, and then shoot up towards um. Moab, Utah, around there. Try to go visit Dave Sparks. That's Heavy D. Um, and uh, then continue from there. Uh, explore. I don't know. Depends. I don't know. Things change. Hopefully, I'm. Uh, I want to look to do a nice little road trip. Um. Me and Foxy, not with my nephew. Um, uh, I don't think my nephew likes this. Um, he's not into the camping stuff. I still gotta try to convince him to go camping. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. And tuck his face in the back. Yeah, yeah, that tuck his face in the back. That was so funny the way he just popped up. Like, oh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Jinx, thanks. He says, thanks for all you do. Welcome, buddy. McNasty, maybe a train trip. You know. I was thinking about doing that, probably taking a, a, a train, like uh, maybe, I know there's a train station here in Phoenix, I believe, somewhere, or somewhere, I know in Arizona, Amtrak, taking a train like from here to New York and um, and back. That would be a nice, like, that would be a nice uh, train ride. Yeah, you never know. Uh, Justin Henry, I'm in Ohio, and you're welcome to me anytime. Thank you. Uh, Georgie Mom, hey, Felix, happy to see you. I really like this live stream. Keep running the railroads. I sure will. Um, uh, Scott Hurley, I'm going to call you live. I got to go to bed. Must be late if it's up in the East Coast. Got to get up early. Have a great night. Take care. You have a beautiful night. Sweet dreams. Thanks for, thanks for popping up. What the fluff? Heavy D. You should try blog. 
that will be epic. I will. Um, I will. Uh, Mr. Jenks, I also just want to thank you for inspiring me. You rock. No, you rock, brother. You rock for subscribing to me. <laughs> Man, I, I hope you do some more videos, man, because I, I like that, that uh, little shop you hang out with. Are you work there or, or you know the owners or that's where you work and you do your, your signs and stuff? <clears throat> okay. Sandra, son, night, night, Sandra. Craig Hall says, fantastic to see me, feeling good. Yes, thank you. Uh, okay, Lance says, hey dog, Dutchman, you are always in my prayers. Stay golden, bro, that got you. Much respect and love, brother. You have a great night, peace out. Uh, thanks for the prayers, Lance. Okay, Manasty says I should take a trip to Brandington, Florida, to the Freedom Factory for the race coming up. Mm. You know, I don't know. Florida is kind of tough in the RV. Probably. Um, what is that Freedom Factory for the race coming? Florida Freedom Factory. I never heard of that. Is that like um, racing cars and stuff, Mr. Manasty? Mr. Jinx, you gotta go to some singles. Lay out, let me know my interest is whenever you get the chance. All right, Jinx, I'll let you know. It's 1 12 a.m. up in Justin's way. Wow. So you must be in the East Coast. So you must be Ohio, right? Craig Hall, hello from South Carolina. Hey, yo, Craig Hall, what's happening? Mr. Jinks, I work there. I mean, machinist. Oh, okay, you're a machinist. That's good. Must be good being around all those trains and, and accessories and tracks. I, I go on places like that. It's like a little kid in a candy store. Dave Sparks would be there with his new chopper. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. He's supposed to give some new uh, free rides or something. Well, that guy is so cool. I remember when when um, when I got sick and I was in the hospital my first uh, 12 days in the hospital. Um, I started watching his channel. And... Uh, I watched this channel all through my uh, illness, and uh, I texted him one time, and he answered me back, and I told him that his videos, um, uh, you know, that I was sick and went through my cancer stuff and through his videos, I, I, you know, it, uh, I enjoyed his videos, and it just kept me focused, and, uh, and I had told him that if I'm ever up that way, uh, that I wanted to go visit. And he answered me and he told me whenever I go up there to show up. Uh, you know, so many, I can imagine so many people telling the same thing and tell other people. But hopefully if I get the opportunity to go up to Utah, uh, that's what I want to go visit. Uh, Mr. Jinx, I'm going to assemble Okay. Uh, Sandra Sunflower, Charlie says, tell Foxy hi. 
O, Charlie, my man Charlie. How's Charlie? He's doing good. <clears throat> Mr. Charlie Brown. It's 12.15 in Texas. Woo! Hello from Dallas, from Keith Hall. Yo! Yo, keep my 11.15 up in Denver, Colorado. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm about an hour more than you. Oh, I'm a nasty search Celtic McFarland. Cletus. Oh, Cletus, yes. Cletus McFarland. Yeah, that guy is bug out. A Yorkie mom says, Andrew McCormick and says, howdy to Foxy. Hey. Race cards, yeah. <sighs> Let's see, up and down. There's 40 people. 40 people. Uh, well, are you Mr. Jinx? He says, if I'm a baseball fan, mm, no, not really. I played softball. I'm not much of the baseball. I was a catcher softball for a long time. I played softball for a while, but. I'm not even a Yankee fan. I'm from New York. Mm. Um, not even a Mets. I was a Mets fan when I was a kid. But baseball, I don't know. It's not the same anymore. I enjoyed more of the 80s baseball, 70s and 80s, early 90s. After that, it's just artificial now. Uh, let's see if you want to. You never know, yeah. That's X day. In Zurich, 1018 in Vancouver, Canada. Wow. Same time as here. Okay. Home, home, on the rail. Good night. Good night. I Jersey. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. You have a good night. Well, Rick Soma, I played third base in softball. All right, third base. I'll catch it. Catch and pitch it. I played, I think I played, um, I worked in a hotel. And when I was living in Puerto Rico, uh, I worked in the hotel, in the Intercontinental Hotel. And every hotel, like Holiday Inn, the Ritz Carlton, every hotel had their own uh, softball teams. And we used to play, the hotels used to play each other. So I played, I played softball till I was like 42. And uh, yeah, to about 42. So I played softball for a long time. I'm a big guy, but I've always been active. I've always been athletic. You know, I played football, I did a little wrestling, I did a little bit of everything. Um, <clears throat> uh, what the fluff? It's been a long time, but just being able to see you live just made my day. Life just made my day. Thank you. And stay strong. That's it too. You have a good night. If you're going to sleep, what the fluff? Thank you, thank you. Still here by the grace of God. Justin Henry, I played with great football. With great football. Oh, great football. Great football. What is that, great football? I played football in school. 
not much to brag about, but uh, very little football. But I was more into the wrestling in school, and uh, so I did more of the wrestling and played a little football. Nothing really to brag about. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, Mr. Tink says, uh, any plans to go back to Mexico? Never been there. Never been to Mexico. Been to New Mexico. Um, if you're referring if I'm Mexican, or no, no, I'm not Mexican. I'm Puerto Rican. Um, no, I ain't got nothing, nothing, nothing to pick up in Mexico. My, 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 my two young nephews are half Mexican. <laughs> I played eighth grade football. Oh, okay, eighth grade. I played six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven football. Um, wrestling in school, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten, yeah. What the fuck? Hotel, motel, holiday, and and if you girls start acting up, then you take a friend. I'm on my I'm on my low. Remember that? Uh, <laughs> what else? What else? What else? Oh, Mr. Jing says he, he. No, no, I never. No, never, never. No, never been there with Eric. I've never really. I don't think I've ever. <sighs> We've camped out a few times, like with Eric and stuff, but um, you know Eric, he, he comes and one day, next day he's gone, or two days, you know, he's always on the move, so, and um, yeah, Justin Henry, I wasn't allowed to join the wrestling, why is that Henry? I could imagine. What the fluff says, I knew you would take it from there. <laughs> with the uh, hotel motel thing, uh, yeah, you know me. Holiday in, yeah. So if we ever meet, we're gonna have to sing that song together. Um, um, what the fluff? Uh. Mr. Jinx says I should go to Nogales. You know, I've been plan I've been thinking about that. Maybe I would like to, I, I I would like to go up there. I've never been there. Just to go eat some real Mexican food. Not as a junk they sell out here. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? Eric is Rolling Stone. Yep. Yep, we the Rolling Stone, all right. Yeah. Um, Jessica says, if I'm from New York, yep, from the Boogie Down Bronx. Uh, I lived in New York until I was 90, uh, 96. I, I left New York in 96. I was uh, 28 years old. 28? Uh, yeah, 28, I think, when I left New York. Um, yeah, if not, I would not be here. Uh, yeah, I've been in jail, locked up, dead, I don't know. Bad times. Came from the, from the ghetto, baby. Uh, oh, just, uh, Henry says that his pop said it's too dangerous. My mom said the same thing. My mom, oh, my mom, when she found out I was, I was playing, I was doing the wrestling thing, oh, she got on my butt. But then I, she went to one of my wrestling matches and, uh, and, uh, then she got hooked on it and she used to go all the time, you know, every time, especially when, um, we had the county tournaments where all the big schools and you have like 12 mats and there's different a whole bunch of stuff going on and, and you're wrestling for the for the tournament trying to get uh 
uh, uh, international, you know, a whole man. That was good times, good times. Many trophies went home with me. Trophies, plaques, medals. Uh, ooh, good times. I'm not a Yankee fan, Jessica. Um, I was a I was a Mets fan uh, because I had a stepfather that uh, uh, he played uh, double A foot uh, double A triple A baseball, I think it is, and um, he was um, trying to audition for the Mets, so. Um, he went to one of those audition, baseball audition things or whatever it's called. I must have been 10 years old. And uh, we went to Shea Stadium. And they had uh, the tryouts. That's what they were, tryouts. And uh, at that time, uh, Felix Mion. Felix Mion, was it? Yeah, Felix Mion. That's, I think he sat down next to me. Because he had my same name, and uh, and uh, I wish I got his autograph and all that stuff. When I was that was a long oof, way back. Oof. So then, when I was like twelve, um, uh, I don't remember. Oh, I remember. I was a fan of Catfish Hunter for some reason. He was my I for some reason and. and because of that damn mustache, you know how he used to pitch and he used to always go like this with his mustache. And then he had that funny, that old classic, like 1920 pitch, pitching, like the way he, his posture when he was going to pitch, it, it reminded me of back in the classic um, Babe Ruth days, you know? And uh, yeah, Catfish Hunter. Whew. Felix Mion and Catfish Hunter were my, were my, I don't know why, but they were my, uh, um, and then that was Strawberry, as Mr. Jinx, that was Strawberry and Good and Yep, Yep, and, um, what was, uh, I can't remember the other guys, well, anyway, yeah, good old days, uh, oh, 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 let me catch up on these questions, uh, <clears throat> Uh, any plans to go? No, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, McNasty, April six and seven is Freedom Five Hundred. Is that in Florida or here in Arizona? I don't know that one. Freedom. And if we did talk about it a while back, I don't remember. Remember, I had that. Key. I know we were talking about something of Florida. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, six and seven freedom, five hundred. And Dior, get it down. Dior, woo, awesome big dog in the house. I hope you and Pops are doing good. You're doing well. Uh, Dior. Uh. Uh, what the flood said, yeah, too many attacks on tours lately in Mexico. Be careful, especially if you drink sauce. Yeah, I don't plan on going up there anytime soon until this border stuff and all this crazy, or, or when this all changes, we get the next, whoever wins, next president, whatever. Uh, probably here in three, four years. That's going to take a long time to fix up this crazy border shit. Um, Mr. J. Brown Spama, yeah, Brown Spama in the Bay, big Bay Roof fan. You're from Manhattan Beach, California. Oh, Manhattan Beach, California. Uh, what the flow says, uh, I was the manager for a high school wrestling team. For two undefeated years. Wow, good times, right? How long was that, Mr. Fluff? Uh, Justin Henry says, Have you ever been to Niagara Falls? Unfortunately, no. I've 
been close to it um, when I was working as a truck helper. We used to del- we used to work for I used to work for uh, Mandy's stores back in the eighties. I don't know if you remember there was a clothing store for girl that woman I think it was Mandy's department stores. We used to deliver the clothes that we used to deliver upstate a lot, and um, I was close. And I think one time we had a delivery in Niagara, somewhere in Niagara, past Niagara Falls. I couldn't go over the border, so I had to wait for the for the truck driver. To, so I had to stay at the uh, border thing while he went and delivered to Globy, and then he came back, picked me up, and that's about the closest I've I've been. <clears throat> Uh, oh, catfish, catfish hunter. Mr. Jinx says, how's the turtle? Turtle's doing good. Um, he's doing, doing good, growing. Slow process, but he's growing. Dior, glad you're well. Great to see you. Great to see you guys. Okay. Uh, Silver Turtles, hello everyone. Hey, Silver Turtles, 65. Oh, Mr. Shoemaker, are you still there? <laughs> uh, Mr. Jinx says, are you going to do finches again? Nope. I can't, it's too hot. It's too hot here to have I wanted to get chickens in, and I, and I just, it, it, I got made the chicken coop and everything. I have it there. It's been there for like a year now, and I haven't been able to do nothing because I just feel sorry. It's just so hot here. And I know there's chickens that are adapted to this, but I, it's just not in, you know, I don't have them. I don't have them as, the chickens are going to be my pets. I don't treat chickens like. People just have chickens just to have them, and I don't have the eggs. I treat all animals like pets, you know. So, even my enemies. Uh, Justin, I always want to go. Justin, here he says, I always wanted to go. Are you close to the. Niagara Falls, or where you're from again? You did you say you was from Ohio? Silver turtles, hola amigos, hola. Justin, honey, I need a van. Trish, mm. yeah. Is there a power surge? Mr. Mr. Fluff, when I was in the wrestling team, I think it was in the um, eighth grade. Um, we we our wrestling team we were we we were undefeated that year, and I think I uh, I think I had. I lost one match. Uh, I think I was nineteen and one, something like that. And and during the tournaments, the national tournaments, um, in this, I think it was seventh grade. I came in second, and I was the he- you know heavyweights, and, and that was like the main attraction. You know how when they call off the heavyweights and everybody, the whole school gets quiet. You got all the big guys coming out. And man, and uh, you had to wrestle uh, three times. So, you know, you wrestle your first, if you win you know, or lose or whatever, then, you know, since there's, um, what does it even five, six, seven, eight, I think there, uh, there were 12 mats, six and six. So the two that won here would fight. The one that won on this one will fight the one that won on this one, and the next thing you know, there's two left. I came in second, and then the following year in the eighth grade, uh, 
I broke some records um, for a heavyweight. Um, one of the, I think my quickest, my quickest uh, that I beat someone was seven seconds. I don't know what happened to the guy. I know uh, I was in my poles, and when they blew the whistle, you know how you 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 try to distract them. So my hand hit him here. And the front said, "Bad." I just grabbed him. The ring came down. As you know, I was like, "Yeah, seven seconds." It was so quick. And I came in, uh, came in first in the. Um, I don't know what it was called. Uh, I don't remember so long ago. Um, not the nationals. Um, I don't remember. I got a whole, my mother has a whole bunch of plaques and medals and trophies and <clears throat> okay enough of that uh oh six eight hours away oh he's in Ohio okay he's in Ohio uh Mr. Jinx you gotta get to you gotta work tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. All right, buddy. You have a good night, and I'll try to check your video out tonight or tomorrow, and I'll leave you some comments. All right, buddy. Huh, Mr. Jinx? You were a stud. My dad went to high school with Chuck Norris. Ooh, North Torrance High. Oh wow. Uh, 